We are beginning with the bathroom because during the holiday season, when you are having guests over, the number one place that you want to be cleaning is the bathroom because they're all going to use it and they don't need to see the regular state of your bathroom. The thing is about this is that you don't need to do a deep cleaning of the bathroom. You're going to do sort of a cheap cleaning of the bathroom. And to do this, you're going to use two products and two products only. The first is glass cleaner. And the when second do we start the clock? is paper Start towels. that clock. Okay. Yeah. So here's my 60 second bathroom cleaning. You're going to start by spraying the toilet down, the whole exterior, especially the seat, and the interior of the bowl. And we're just going to leave that for a second. I'm going to come over back to the sink. I'm going to grab a wad of paper towels. And I'm going to. 40 seconds, girl. I'm going to spray the sink down and just give it a quick once over with the paper towels and the glass cleaner. The glass cleaner is particularly great for chrome fixtures. 30 to seconds! Make them look shiny. She's not worried. Then, <laughs> then, then we want to just talk about cosmetics. So we're going to take all of this clutter and we're going to just stash it away. Don't worry. It's Someone, the old hide and wipe. 15 seconds. 15 seconds! Someone will look in here, but don't worry. They're just sneaking. They're weirdos. They yeah. got the illness. Yeah, now, right, exactly. Now we're going to come back to the toilet and we're going to... Oh my God, listen, 10 seconds! Quick. Go, go, go! Stop interrupting, Rachel! <laughs> no. We're going to do a quick wipe. Well, you didn't even let me tell them about the most important part. The most important part, this is kind of gross, but it's back here behind the seat where hair collects. Yeah, sorry about that. Now you're gonna dump your paper towels. I'm not even going there. One last cheating tip for you. If you have used hand towels and you don't have fresh ones, you can make them do double duty by just turning them backwards and putting the clean side that's back here facing outwards. All right, come on, we gotta move along. Now, what? We gotta now we've, got a, we've got a few more common messes that happen during the holidays. So, so first, instant stain removers is what we're doing next. Yes, yes? instant gotcha. stain removers. So during the holidays, a lot of times when you're at a party, someone might spill something on you. So Rachel, if you would like to spill some coffee on Emerald. What? Yeah, well, I'm gonna clean you up, Emerald, don't I worry. I did not, I did not, I did not. Put your hand over here. Yeah. Just a oh, oh my gosh. Hopefully that wasn't scalding hot. I didn't know we were supposed to do that. It's cold. So, it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> it, was, it was cold. Uh, when you have a fresh spill like this, reach for the dish soap and a sponge. Hopefully every house has this. What you're going to do is you're going to get your sponge wet. You're going to apply a small amount. That was not a small amount. But you are going to apply a small <laughs> okay, amount of dish soap. Okay, now it out. <laughs> and you're just going to, you're going to wring your sponge very well so that it's not drippy. And you're just going to go right onto the stain with your sponge, working pretty hard with That's that dish coffee, soap. That's coffee, though. Yeah, look, it's yeah. coming out, though. Dish soap. Yeah, Easy dish soap. enough. Here, I'll yeah. keep rubbing. Thank you, Rachel. Okay, honey. You keep rubbing. Rachel spilled a lot of coffee on Emerald. <laughs> well, thanks, So Rach. you may need to do a second pass. To do that, just rinse the sponge, apply more soap, and you'll be good to go. Got it. All right, let's look. It's an ombre. <laughs> let's move down to uh, another really common thing that happens. Like, like, uh, me. <laughs> like me. Like me. I always get stuff on my tie. Blurb yeah. on your And tie. if I don't have a tie, I get it right, right here. Yeah. My you mom know. does the same thing. Yeah, yeah, like nine out of ten times. Yeah. So we're going to just do a little uh, show and tell with some whipped cream. If you were to get some, some whipped cream on your tie like that. Uh, and you put a cherry in the middle. Yeah. yeah and then, uh, and then some clean. chocolate drizzles. Yeah. Um, so the first thing you want to do whenever you get any kind of food on a tie or your shirt is you want to remove the solids. Just use a spoon for that. So I'm just going to lift all of that off. Sorry, countertop. It's okay. Um, and then I'm going to use a baby wipe. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's low moisture, which means it's safe to use on silk. So you can use it for ties, ladies. You can also use it on your blouse. But it does have some soap in it, so it's going to remove that. Without uh, getting it too wet or and making the stain even worse. Exactly. So what's going to happen, you can already see that that stain is coming out. There no. is some residual moisture from both the dairy and the, the wipe. The baby wipe worked better. You want me to use it on your coffee? <laughs> uh, you can use it on the coffee. Absolutely. I mean, you really soaked them there. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, Rach. So you well, can, I do enjoy a second cup. Yeah. So you can see that that's come up, but there's some residual moisture. That will dry in about five or ten minutes on its own. You can also head into a bathroom if they have a hand dryer or a hair dryer, use it on, on low, on cool heat, and you can just dry that real cool. fast. So that's your right. party. Right. Moving along. Moving along. So moving along to the, the big guns on the holiday, 
cranberry sauce, and red wine. These are two of the worst stains. Listen to them. Ooh. Yeah, they know. They know. These are two of the worst stains you can get. And inevitably, you get them on your grandmother's heirloom right. white tablecloth. Something right? that's irreplaceable. Exactly. That's so for this, I have a great product that I really love. This isn't a quick fix. This isn't going to eliminate a stain immediately like that. But it is going to get it out when you work with it over time. So the product is called Wine Away. Comes in small bottles. You can buy big, big bottles Come too. Come economy size for our family. Yeah, you can you can get jugs of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so what you're going to do um, again, just like with the tie, you're going to start by scraping the, the solids away, uh -huh. um, and then you're going to do what Rachel is doing. And Emerald, you do yours too. Yeah. Why don't you start and, with my coffee stain all right, first? I'm going to take care of your coffee stain. You you don't, right, don't have to worry about I that. I just spray it like that. Yeah. So you're going to just spray it right on the stain. Oh, there goes my bottle. You're going to spray yeah. it on the stain. I got it, I got it. It smells good too, doesn't oh, it? Oh yeah. Does. And you're gonna get your so sponge fragrant. wet. Okay. Thank you, Rachel. Gotcha. Emerald, you wanna get your sponge wet? Oh yeah, yeah, there? yes, okay, yes, I'm coming. Jeez, play the game, uh, will you? Okay. And then you're just gonna work the product into the stain. Just gonna work stain. it like that. Just yeah, exactly. See how nice mine is, huh? Oh. And you can see. Huh? So you can see on Emerald's, his stain was lighter right. than ours. Uh, he had a head start. His is already starting to come up. He's actually really good at cleaning. Look at he that. He is. He is. Now, Rachel. I'm a cleaning enthusiast. You you did something you were not supposed to do, actually. Oh, and this is a, geez. Always. No, no, no. This is a good morning. Oh, jeez. Be careful of these green scrubby back sponges because you can see that the green has transferred onto her oh, white. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I listen, need a whole I've other got, product. No, no, no. I've got a fix for that too. Rubbing alcohol will take oh, nice. nice things ah. out. So a little rubbing I'm alcohol. A will take look that how good that. that. Look at how good exactly. that is. Huh? Emerald, Emerald is perfect. I'm Jolie Care, and I'm going to show you how to remove white water rings from a wood table. You're going to use softened butter and ash, and it can be any kind of ash. We have fireplace ashes here. You're going to mix the paste up, and you're going to apply it to a soft cloth. Then using the cloth and working in a circular motion, you're gonna rub the paste into the white water rings and then wipe it away with a clean side of the cloth and that will take the rings right off of the wood.